This, partic this particular project is sited along the Ngwaba Road in Port Harcourt. This is also another major intersection in the capital city. From here, you can connect the Port Harcourt International Airport, the University of Port Harcourt, and the East-West Road leading deeper into River State to the right, and then to Bayelsa State, Delta State, Edo State, uh, Edo State and so on. So it's a very uh, critical project critical project that is uh, strategically located in the very heart of Port Harcourt. The River State Government has so far inaugurated seven flyover bridges according to Governor Wike. By September, the Governor promises that the eighth and ninth flyovers will be inaugurated. And then finally for this year in December, the tenth flyover bridge is expected to be inaugurated. And that would uh, bring to a total of 12 uh, flyover bridges constructed by the government in the last four years. Uh, Twelve flyovers in the last four years it, it, it is an achievement that is exciting within and outside the ranks of the River State government. Uh, that's an average of three per year. So, uh, uh, well, you have the governor there saying <laughs> perhaps in December he's, he, he, he will try to keep himself away from the temptation of promising a 13th flyover. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait till December to see. But what we know is that uh, uh, the, the, we still have a number of flyovers that are still under construction and whose uh, work on them would continue into 2023. Uh, we, we, we wait till September to see if the governor will indeed fall for that temptation for to declare a 13th flyover bridge. But for now, um, that's our coverage from this event from Port Harcourt. Thanks for watching. We will be back tomorrow. Right, we've come to the climax of today's event. See you guys in the same station next week. God bless you all. Goes by the name of Walter Lawrence. <laughs> You're all doing genial. Holding it down. Cops.